What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, man. I want to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel, man, for Carcino for life, man. I appreciate every last one of y'all. Um, you got the cash app. You want to donate to the page. Uh, all you got to do is search for Carcino for life or Carcino, and I'll pop right up. Um, you can click the link in the description box. I created the streamline for all you guys to communicate. You can leave me messages there. You know, I just try to, whatever makes it easier for y'all. Now, I always give you guys gems, you know, and I've been giving you guys nothing but gems lately. You got to check on the timeline. Sometimes they're going to send you a notification. Sometimes they're not. You know, a lot of games being played. A lot of people hating on my page and spamming me. You know, we've been having a lot of that lately. So, you know, it is what it is. But moving forward, let's, you know, get right to it. Kendrick Lamar, man. A lot of you guys see, a lot of rappers do learn from Nas in certain, you know, aspects. Uh, nobody would know what Nas have or what kind of money he had because Nas wouldn't talk about that. You know what I'm saying? You would never know if Nas was okay, he was struggling. Or nothing because he never really was a guy who focused on bragging about money all the time. So when people brag about money all the time, that's what you know them as. So if they seem a little slacking or falling off, you'd be like, Duh, look what he's driving now, you know. But if that person never talked about money really, you know, if you saw him in something, uh, you know, you wouldn't even think nothing because this guy was not really known for talking about money. Kendrick Lamar, same way. Nobody would know what Kendrick has as far as finances because nobody really cared. Because when you think of Kendrick Lamar, you're not thinking about money. But Kendrick Lamar is doing quite well for himself. A lot of people don't know he owns a percentage of uh, TDE. Yeah. Kendrick owns a part of TDE, in case you guys didn't know. Now, here's why Kendrick hadn't put out a new album. Everybody was like, Kendrick's working on a new album. Kendrick's working on this. He got this coming. No, 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 he don't. <laughs> Kendrick ain't finna do that right now. See, Kendrick is, you know, getting ready. If he didn't sign already with his new publishing deal, you know, where he's going to get about $15 million up front. And the deal is going to be worth about $35 million to like $45 million publishing deal for his songwriting credits. Um, his songwriting credits expired with the Warner, uh, who was that? Waddle, I think it is. Warner and whatever. But it's uh, Warner Brothers. <laughs> That's who he was with. And with Warner Brothers, his publishing deal expired back in uh, January of last year. So that's now expired and everything else. So now he's looking for a new publishing deal. Well, he was, but I think he already got it. But we're not, we're probably never going to get the details of what he closed for and everything else. But he's a part owner of TDE. So all the projects and people from SZA to, to uh, the Black Panther soundtrack, everything else, he's making a killing just doing soundtracks. You know, so you, if you, he almost got like an album. He made more money off the Black Panther soundtrack than he did for the damn album. That's facts. I'm going to tell you that right now. A lot of people don't know that. I know it. He made a lot of money, a lot of more money off the Black Panther soundtrack than he did off his damn album. And damn album won like seven Grammys and... Got all the raves and, you know, everybody raving over the album. You know, and he's like, look, go, go buy that album. Because I ain't making another album right now. <laughs> and he shouldn't. Kendrick did not need to make another album. Not now. He's working on film projects. He's got all these different things that's coming up as far as producing and songwriting. So I'm quite sure he's, you know, he's they, he's gonna be all right. <laughs> You're gonna be seeing a lot of Kendrick in 2019. Don't even worry about it. But he's he's getting it on the on the right side of the money, you know. So when people coming in on the right side of the money, the right way, 
you know that's that's the best way to do it so on that note i applaud him for it and that's it so that's why you haven't seen an album come out from kendrick lamar so that's another nice b for your bonnet i'm out <laughs>